Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. It's Monday, March 29th, the Monday of Holy Week. I am Mary Beth Dumas. I'm so happy to be with you today to share prayer. Our readings today are taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah and the Gospel of John. Let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And today's responsorial psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha, Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? 
He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contrib contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll take a few moments today in reflection of our readings and allow our hearts to be open to the message that we receive. And let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for an end to this pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all who work to end the virus and give our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are in any way burdened in these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may continue to find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today for prayer. Have a peaceful day, and I will see you back next Monday for prayer, and have a wonderful Easter.